Femme Evidence, Serena's favorite perfume. I've always told Serena that she doesn't need to wear perfume. Her presence is magical enough already. Some money, a watch. Guess that doesn't remind remind him of her. Some clothes. It smells so elegant. There's violet leaf and silk tree blossom, I think. This perfume is perfect for Serena. Why didn't I ever notice? Nope. <laughs> Why is there a tentacle in, in the back? And does he have a number on his shirt? Waiting for asylum. Oh. These keys are for the cabin and the car. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. And if they come to the, ho the outhouse, they probably need to poo or something, so let them in. <laughs> We did have a night prowler once who left a mark inside the outhouse, but we rarely lock it anyway. A mark? I never noticed it before, but there's some rust on the ring. Huh, should get a new one. We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Yes, blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? Uh... Hmm... Hmm... She also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere. Nor some of her other personal items. Did she leave? It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket. New enough to still have all its teeth. Mm. Mm. She also had a brush. Hers. I used it too, when shaving. Never. There's only an outhouse, and for some reason, whoever erected the rickety thing didn't think to include wall-to-wall -wall mirrors. So, <laughs> this came in handy. <laughs> Should I dust for fingerprints? I might if I were in a detective story. After all these years, it permanently smells of her and her perfume. Hmm. This reminds me kind of like mist. The way it works. The moving. Oh. She adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. Curiously, we never brought many plants inside the cabin. We were surrounded by so many outside, and I guess we were saturated by them. At least I was. Maybe I should have let her bring some plants inside. She liked them a lot. She is fairly religious. Not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. She always thought our relationship was a blessing. God, how I miss her. <laughs> <laughs> no longer the cynical asshole, I guess. You miss her? Is she coming back or is she gone? Her faith came as a surprise to me. She was never prudish about sex, so I just didn't expect it. I guess people simply aren't that predictable. A plant is a plant. Beautiful to some, boring to others. I feel too restless to sleep right now. Quite a large armoire for our... I'm not sure. Maybe oh, later. Sorry. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. Hmm. It seems kind of like... Everything's gray. I want to, but we found this trunk at a flea market. 
We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. But we hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. We found this trunk at a flea market. Okay. We used to love rummaging around those in our early years. Come, love, with peace in your heart, said Niav of the Ice Blue Eyes. Hmm. Blue Eyes. It's based on an Irish folktale. Oh. Warrior poet Oshin goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the Land of Youth and Promise. Hmm. Niav is of the Fey folk, the fair ones. Fairies. It's interesting. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad at the same time. Maybe because that's so like life. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old country. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious, sensual thrill. Oh! We don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. Wait, what? What's going on? I didn't cook much for her. I was so worried about my stuff. Creepy. Why? I should really stay. I'm so tired anyway. As always, I automatically went to the window side and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her scent still lingers. Could you take this out and beat it, love? It's getting a bit dusty. A bit? It's one of the few decorative things here. We weren't much of homemakers, either of us. I remember us washing it properly in the lake many summers ago. Once. No trap door under there, just more creaky floor. Is there something in there? Can I open it now? Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to dust? I don't know, being dead? I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. What once gave me so much joy now fills me with unbearable sorrow. Big enough for a lifetime of mementos. Did he... He asked if he had a stroke before. Did he have a stroke and die? Is that what's happening? And he's hunting this... Creepy cabin. True friends stand by each other through any adversity. I prefer the darkness inside right now. 